Hello and welcome back to Torque Drift here on the channel. Another episode for you guys. I'm Evil Rabbit and we are going to be messing with a new car today that I've been building. A couple of you guys have probably seen it on the track and have caught glimpses of it. It is a, a kind of in the background right there doing some sideways stuff. But we have decided to do a new build with a supercharged V8. And uh, it is a build that I've been trying to, that I started and never continued. And that is of that Mustang. We do have a black Mustang with a little purple uh, next and accenting. NRG Innovations, Torque Drift, and Evil Rabbit on the door. So we are rocking 891 horsepower. Uh, the motor is uh, a pro um, V8. And it is uh, unfortunately not good for the power that we're running. But we are running a pro supercharger. Pro class car on next and tires Let's see if there's anything else new in the shop that we can buy I would love to get a, a custom V8 but I need to get the Drift King level on this car I don't have it on this car um, because I have just started it off we need to look at what other parts around there because we still need a pro angle kit which we do not have access for so unfortunately we don't have a pro angle kit yet we only have an aftermarket angle kit uh, or an import angle kit, but we do have the sponsored one, so we do have a little bit more angle than a normal import angle kit. So we are going to go rip this today, have a little fun with it, and uh, get some tandems, and uh, kind of shake in the new car. So we are going to accept our sponsor to get some more money. Looks like we got Ocean Drive and Cali Bank, so we're going to hit Ocean Drive first, and we're going to run Desert Palm, and then uh, we'll hit up Cali Bank, because you guys know my love for Cali Bank, and my hatred for Cali Bank as well. 891 horsepower on next and tires mustang simple livery black and blue did uh, unlock painting of the wheels so definitely cool to be able to paint the wheels 866 this should be a decently close battle get that supercharger wind up I'm gonna stay in third gear for this part of this track we're gonna flick it in lee break a uh, little tap but we were able to not lose all of our points so Except for right there we did. I was hoping I could transition closer to the wall, but did not work. This car likes to slide out very far, as you can see. I haven't got, I don't think I've gotten the grip levels perfect yet for it. But it is a work in progress, but it is a lot of fun here in that supercharger wine. And yeah, we're definitely gonna lose this first battle in this car. But we kind of uh, threw ourselves a little bit too hard into that first turn. So we're gonna go try and be a little more uh, a little more cautious. Throw oh, that was almost a double initiation. We're gonna have to seriously try and uh, keep points with that. A little left foot brake. Started using left foot braking more in the game. I used to use just handbrake a lot, but I'm starting to do more left foot braking. That's why I've moved the brake pedal down there. So a decent chase, but not not gonna be enough to take the win for sure because we were way behind in the get go. We were able to get really close, but. Unfortunately, not close enough. So let's go hit up Cali Bank. Not a big fan of Desert Palm, but we wanted to run it anyway. So if you guys are enjoying Torch Drift, let me know down in the comments. New build, new car, supercharger. Had to use the supercharger since it came out into the game. And uh, been uh, doing some good work with it. And I love hearing the whine of the supercharger. And uh, it's nice to have another car that's up there in the pro class that I like driving. We're a little bit out of power band on this one. So we're going to start in fourth, though, just to uh, prevent wheel spin. Then we're going to downshift in third to get our acceleration up, kick it in. I probably should have stayed in fourth for the bank, but we're just going to run it out, wall to tap that, and uh, shut it down a little bit so we don't lose all of our uh, points and go into the red and uh, lose our clean lead, even though this is not a very good clean lead. Should have been in fourth gear. So, not the best lead possible. The wall kind of bit me. I mean, still a 75, so it's not a horrible run, but not a high class run at Cali Bank. But we're going to do better next one. Definitely going to have to stay in fourth gear, I believe. But we did take advantage of the car. just looks so sick drifting up on the wall, but not into the wall like it did. So let's uh, go into fourth gear. We may have to stay third to follow behind him. We'll tap the e-brake to settle the rear end of the car. Kick it in, he kicked it in way lower than I thought he was going to. And then kind of had a double initiate into the wall. Um, um, I feel like I should be doing that. I should be doing the Mustang things. 
But it looked like the S13 was doing Mustang things to me. So we're going to try and just finish this up. And chase and try to get as much chase points as we can. As close as we can. A little door love. Kind of felt like I just pushed him up the wall. I feel like we will take the win there. We're going to do it again. We're going to stay in fourth. So, like I said, new car, new build. Having an odd expired. Oh man. No more Cali Bank unless we run it by our own. So what tracks do we get? Oh, we have a Tunnel Edge Tournament. Let's go. Let's go into a tourney. See what happens. Tunnel Edge. Mustang. Definitely going to probably have to go fourth gear with this car. So hopefully we can uh, do good in this tournament. I believe fourth gear is going to be our bet. A few little practice. Initiation there. Yeah, fourth gear is gonna be fourth gear is gonna be our baby on this track. Probably need to uh, faint that middle section, but I think we're good to not do that. So we are going to just rip this car down a little bit more while we're waiting. Now we're in a 16 battle. Oh my lord we're gonna go all the way up to a 32 turning haven't been doing that great in tournaments with this car um, I've done one or two I've never been able to win with this car in a tournament more I think I've won one round before but I haven't been able to uh, take an overall win so we're just ripping down a Kone while we wait for the timer to go down it looks like we're gonna be in a 16 battle Unless 11 more people join within a minute. Little, uh, little boop on the wall there. Try and do a little, uh, freestyle through the gate. Nope, nope. Uh, we got caught in the curb. So, 36 seconds left until we go drift time. And, uh, looks like we're going to be in a 16 tournament. So hopefully we can, uh, do some decent tournament run here on skyline or uh, tunnel edge fourth gear will be our gear to use this car just sounds sounds very very awesome with that supercharger just whining in just backing it up into that wall though all right here we go four three two one let's get it do a little donut we're going straight into it we are tops we are in a 16 battle Gonna hop right into the first battle. Who are we gonna be going against in this tournament? And it looks like it's gonna be Kurt 27 and the 821 horsepower S13. It's got a ruthless tag on there, so this is uh we're gonna have to be on our best game. Initiate in fourth. Close to the wall. Look back. We did miss one of those. And we just lost all of our points at the front end of that car. So that is not going to go good for us in this, I don't believe. Because I'm sure he is going to get that perfectly clean run. So we're going to have to do as much as we can in the latter part of the track to hopefully get some more points and uh, get ourselves a decent lead. Hopefully, maybe he made the mistake as well. I doubt it, but uh, that simple livery looks pretty sweet coming down the hill. And I'm not sure what's going on with him. Either he's got a very baller run or he wrecked. It's always nerve wracking waiting for your points in a tournament. And survey says 102. We're going to get knocked out. That's not what I want to see happen. So definitely we're going to have to try that again. Or maybe just uh, run ourselves to Cali and run a couple of the tracks that we know. He's had a very slow start. And it kind of threw me... Kind of threw me off. Oh, he's got a very zigzaggy line, which is definitely going to throw me off.
Yep. Can't hold that angle without that pro kit. Only running an uh, import kit. And unfortunately, we're going to take the loss in the tournament, I believe. That's for some reason he DCs and we get a good run. Enough to counteract maybe a zero chase, but probably not going to happen. Yeah, no. Close, though. If we wouldn't hit the wall, we probably would have done good. So we're going to try and maybe get into another tournament or just run some other tracks. It's unfortunate. We got knocked out. But new car. Still trying to work out the kinks of it. So if you guys have some uh, possible uh, tuning tips for this Mustang, let me know down in the comments. would appreciate it. And, uh, or direct message me on Instagram because I am looking to fine tune this Mustang and use it as well as my S14. So we're going to run Ebizu maybe once or twice before we end this episode off. And uh, see how this see how this goes. I know we can run third gear here at Ebizu. And just initiate this thing in right away. This big girl. I feel like once I get a pro angle kit, I feel like, oh man, I thought I was going to be clean. Once I get a pro angle kit, I think I'll be able to dial the car in a little bit better to uh, handle more angle and get more points. But unfortunately, I'm limited with only having an import kit with this car. So only been running this car for about two days. So definitely uh, a new car. I feel like we could still probably win this on the chase and uh, maybe uh, still take a win. Hopefully, we will see. Going to third gear. Get that supercharger wind up. Initiate in as close as we can. Very slow initiation. And I feel like I don't understand how his run was so high with the way he ran over the grass and sections like that. So maybe we'll get to go another time against him as I get put into the wall. Unfortunately, I don't think there'll be enough to take the win. But we will see. There will be enough to take the win. Unfortunately, he was not able to chase. So basically an inactive chase on his part. It's nice to have my window open and hear all the outside noises like motorcycles and cars and birds and people walking around. It's definitely a, a nice, ooh, looks like we got another Mustang. Baller, Goonie, 837 horsepower. I'm gonna finish this off with a Mustang battle here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm gonna finish this off with a little uh, GT battle. As long as we don't hit the wall, there we go. Run it out, just a little tap. Get all those crucial clipping points. So I got that one. I'm gonna hook this one, hook this one late. And able to finish it off with a bit of a better run. I wonder what he got on his lead. Goonie, what do you got for me? 49. Alright. Well, we're gonna have to run out intense chase run on this man do like it he, he's rocking those 22s i had those wheels and i kind of took them off got a very aggressive green and black livery and i kind of just totally screwed that chase run up by making the mistake on that transition now we gotta try and suck it up to the door and get as many points as we can and i thought he was gonna run that wider so we're gonna take the loss unless i can get one more chance against him do want to have one more run against him and see how that goes if he will give me that chance Dooney, give me that chance let me go one more time let me do it let me go one more time it's a close battle we are going to go one more time so this will end this episode off either on a win or a loss so let me know if you guys have a good tuning tuning tips for this mustang or what motor you're running in yours i was thinking about switching it out of a v8 but I have not. We're gonna keep that, there we go. Clipping those cones. Pouring on more angle. 
Throwing a late one there. Oh, that that jump and bumped us into the tree. Well, that's not going to be good for us. Unfortunately, it looks like he made a mistake. He probably tagged the wall too. So we still have a chance to end this episode on a win. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching and coming back. I do appreciate all the support. We're getting close to that 10,000 subscriber mark. So if you guys aren't a subscriber, please tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support. And I appreciate you guys coming back. There's, there's was his hit. Appreciate you coming back for all these episodes, especially here on Torque Drift and Forza and stuff like that. Some more Torque Drift content coming, as well as live streams are coming back, hopefully very soon. So as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I hit that pole again with this Mustang. A little hop, skip, and a jump into the pole. So did we take the win? Did we not take the win? How are we going to end this episode off? And survey says we take the win. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time.